So Mawlana Sheikh Nazim Qaddas Allah Surru says, one time, 25 people came to his majlis, to, to the majlis of Sayyidina Ali, Karram Allahu Wajha. 25 people that are Dahriyun. Dahriyun means they don't believe in Jannah, they don't believe in Nar, they don't believe in Hisab, in accounting, they don't believe in any of that. They think they live and die, as so many people nowadays, especially Far East. Far East. I read a statistic that 90% of them are atheists, don't believe in anything. If you don't believe in anything, what are you living for? To eat and drink? It is, it is worse than cattle. Cattle have a purpose, they benefit others. They, they produce milk, they produce eggs, they produce benefits for humanity. What do you produce? I, I am in IT. I produce programs. <laughs> Good programs or bad programs. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make them produce good programs that benefit others. Hey, 90%. So some of them came to Sayyidina Ali radiallahu an. And he said, Ya Ali, you are, uh, you have no mind. You and the one that follow you. Why is so? He said, he said because you don't allow yourself to indulge in the pleasures of this world. Do you like to indulge in the pleasures of the chocolate, Sheikh? Yeah, why not? Indulge in the pleasure of a nice mattress? Yeah, why not, Sheikh? AC? Yeah, why not? So you don't allow yourself to indulge in the pleasures of the world. You indulge, you don't indulge in anything. You are missing. You are missing on the pleasures of this world. There is nothing beyond this world. So Sayyidina Ali said, I will ask you one question. One question, if you are able to answer me that question, then we will do at you as you do. Then you are the right ones, we are the wrong ones. We want to follow you, because you are the smart ones. So he said, I will ask you one question. Will there come a day that we will be equal on that day? Will, will, they, will, will there come a day that we will be equal all of us equal on that day. He said when the Sakaratul Maut, when the uh, Sakra, the, um, the drunkenness of death comes, when death comes, or death is approaching, when death comes, هَلْ يَبْقَى أَثَرْ مِنْ هَذِهِ مِنْ هَذَا السُّرُورِ وَالَّذَّ Any trace from this pleasure doesn't remain. Does any, this, any pleasure that you indulge yourself in, does it remain when death has come? Mawlana Sheikh Nazim said, when the angel of death grabs the neck of the one that is going to die, especially if it's a bad one, Mawlana Sheikh Nazim said that that touch of fire will make him forget all the pleasures that he had in his life. Everything. One touch, of, one touch by that hand from the neck, will make the unbeliever or the one that has indulged himself in the pleasures and disobeyed the Creator and caused harm to people. One touch, all the pleasures that he had will go away. Doesn't feel anything, doesn't remember anything. So he said, Sayyidina Ali said, will there be any trace of this pleasure and joy? Any trace of that joy remains. Any trace of that pleasure remains? They said, no. So he said, when we arrive at that level, we had had it hard, but at, when we arrive at that level, we forget the difficulty. You had it easy, but when you arrive at that level of the approaching death, that also is forget, forgotten. So both of us are at the same level. So we start new. Now, if there is something on the other side, who will be the winner? He said, if we come at that level and there is no hisab, no accounting, no paradise, no fire, the, re the end result is you did not win, we did not lose, because there's nothing. At that time, the difficulties, we forgot about the difficulties, the hardships you had last year or the year before, there are memories now, and sooner or later they fade away. And the pleasures as well. So when we came at that level, 
If there's nothing beyond it, you did not win, we did not lose. Finished. But if there's something behind it, نَكُونُ قَدْ نَجَوْنَا وَرَبِحْنَا لَكِنْ أَنْتُمْ If there's something behind it, we have, we, we are safe. And Sayyidina Ali knocked the head of that man. Mawlana Sheikh said, he hit him with his fingers. He said, think about this. So they thought about this. And as Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, when they use their mind, when a human being uses his mind, alam comes. And haya comes. And haya, what is haya? Shame? Shame. I read that Jibreel alayhi salam brought three gifts to Adam alayhi salam. He brought him from the treasures of Arsh. He brought him aql, mind. He brought him alam, uh, knowledge. He brought him haya. Shame. Haya is shame. To, to, feel, uh, yeah, to feel shy, you know, to, shyness. He brought him shyness. Yeah, not shame. Shame when you do something bad, you are ashamed. Shyness. So he brought him mind. He brought him alam. He brought him shyness. He said, Use, uh, choose what you want for your generations. It is said that he chose aql. He chose mind for his generations. So he told, Jibreel alayhi salam told the knowledge and the shyness to return to under Arsh. They said, we were always three of us together. We would not want to leave each other. So he, he ordered aql to go into the brain. He ordered alam to go into qalb. He ordered haya, shyness, to go into the eyes. So aql is up, mind is up here. But when you use your mind, the alam in your heart starts to work. And the shyness in your eyes start to work if you use your mind. When they don't use their mind and they are pretending that they are dumb, they have a mind, they know what's right, they know what's wrong, but they're pretending that they don't know. So then you don't have, they don't have knowledge, they don't have shyness. So when, when this man, Mawlana Sheikh Nazim is saying, when Sayyidina Ali hit his head, he started, he started to use his mind. When he used his mind, he was shy from looking at Sayyidina Ali radiallahu an, because he knew that he was on the wrong path. And his, the alam that was in his heart starting showing him that there, there might be something over there. It's not 100% uh, uh, no. And it's not 100% yes, because you slowly, slowly iman builds up. So when he used his mind, he said, Ya Ali, laqinni al-iman. Ya Ali, laqinni, give me iman. Let me pronounce that shahada. And Sayyidina Ali radiallahu an gave, him, gave them shahada. So when they use the aql, they understand. The alam in the heart starts to work, and the shyness in the eyes start to work. So that is what Mawlan Sheikh Nazim is saying about Sayyidina Ali and his hilam. Hilam means tolerance and patience. He said if, if it was Sayyidina Omar, they would have beat them up. So Sayyidina Ali was a tolerant one. That's why you see our shiyukh very tolerant, very patient. Very easy going. They don't right away attack others. So you see some ulama, they are very much right away on the attack. Shuyukh of, of Turuk, they are very tolerant and, and patient. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us that from them, from their hearts. Be a humble one. 